It's 13 eventful weeks since a goal from Swansea defender Mark Harris put Cardiff City out of the FA Cup here at the Vets Field. Cardiff feel the result that November day was not a fair reflection, so the revenge motive will add an extra zest to this tie, which, to be truthful, it scarcely needs. Harris takes his place in a Swansea lineup, which shows one significant change from the team beaten at Exeter four days ago. Leading scorer John Williams, one of the quickest players in league football, has recovered from an ankle injury and will partner Jimmy Gilligan in the forward line. Attempting to supply the ammunition will be Russell Coughlin, who at 31 is by common consensus playing the best football of his career. Manager Frank Burrows is aiming for a Welsh Cup double, having taken Cardiff into Europe four years ago. Well, if Swansea are to put a second dent in Cardiff's Cup season, then they'll need to be on red alert defensively. That's because strikers Pike and Dale now have a total of 41 goals between them, including a share out of all three last Saturday, as Cardiff made it five wins in a row in the fourth division. A run inspired by the arrival of two players on loan, Eddie Newton of Chelsea, who patrols centre midfield, and Jerry Harrison from Bristol City, who plays wide on the right. Not surprisingly, Cardiff are unchanged, with Wales B international defender Jason Perry continuing out of position at right back. Paul Ramsey was sent off when these two teams met in yet another cup competition earlier this season, the Autoglass Trophy, and his confrontation with Russell Coughlin could go a long way to deciding tonight's outcome. Appropriate that for a match between fierce South Wales rivals, we should have an English referee, Ray Lewis from Surrey. He and his linesman will have to be on their metal this evening because of the experimental law in the Albright Bitter Welsh Cup, which says that a player can't be offside if the ball is played to him from within his own half of the field. So Cardiff City in their change strip of yellow and blue get us underway. Cardiff in the first half playing from left to right. An early touch there for Mark Harris at the heart of the Swansea defence. And Paul Pornber moves the ball on towards Andrew Legg, but a very sturdy challenge comes in straight away from Jason Perry. And Roger Freestone, former Wales under-21 goalkeeper, looks for Gilligan. And Gilligan there was fouled by Damon Searle, so this is a free kick to Swansea in a fairly dangerous position. Russell Coughlin will surely organise things here as Jimmy Gilligan makes his way into the penalty area. So it'll be Coughlin with a free kick for Swansea City. Looking for Gilligan, and Gilligan got in the header there behind Gareth Abraham, who slightly misjudged his leap. So already the threat is there from Jimmy Gilligan, the former Cardiff City player, who would love to score against his former team. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a lovely free kick by Russell. Jimmy just, just possibly a little slightly too high for him and he's directed it uh, just wide of the far post. Quite a tussle between Abraham and Gilligan. Gilligan wins it there, but it's away by Searle onto the chest of Coughlin, the playmaker for Swansea City. That's well done to Rayner. Looking for Lego Gilligan. It's two against one. Gilligan heads it down, and the shot on the turn from Andrew Legg is only a yard or so wide. So the first real opportunity of the game falls to Andrew Legg. Yeah, lovely cross from I think it was Paul Rayner. Jimmy again at the far post, and Andrew Legg just, just very unlucky there. Boy, just get in. Andrew Legg scored against Monaco in the Cup Winners' Cup this season. Harris. Ford. Route 1. Abraham underneath it. Poor distribution. Here's Leg. Looked for Ford, who made the run forward. Gets another opportunity. This is Ford now. Harris. Williams. Leg, good build up by Swansea. Leg running at Perry and Ramsey and wins the corner of Jason Perry. Good work by Andrew Leg on the left hand side for Swansea City. Loves to take players on and Russell Coughlin will take this corner kick. Takes it short to Ford. Space for the cross. 
That's dangerous. Gilligan's at the far post, and it slipped through the grasp there of Gavin Ward. A greasy ball, and Ward unable to collect. So another corner to Swansea City. Yes, yeah, but it's the third great cross on the trot now. Uh, Gavin Ward, obviously, a little bit of difficulty in slippery ball. Walker hoists it high. Harris. Pike. And this is Ford. Excellent first touch again from the big fullback. What a penetrating run. Low towards the near post. Ward was down there. It might even have struck Woodwork. What a great burst forward by John Ford, the former Cradley Heath player, cutting into the Cardiff defences. Tremendous play by John. They really attack Cardiff in their own penalty area. They have a good ball in. Corner already taken. Coughlin towards Harris. He could not get proper contact on the ball there, Mark Harris, the big centre-back who's joined the attack so many times already in this game. And that was, again, just three yards wide. He'll be disappointed, perhaps, not to have got that header on target from such a, a close position. So the corner taken short, and Harris put it wide. Gibbons with another long free kick for Cardiff. Pike looks for Dale, and Mark Harris is penalised for leaning on the shoulders of Pike, and so that will be a free kick to Cardiff. Well, Nathan Blake has scored spectacularly from this range recently in the league against Chesterfield. He's coming towards the ball now, along with Roger Gibbons. Could be interesting. Yeah, he's, he's more, very much an expert at these, these seven free kicks, and he's certainly with it well within his range. So we've got Gibbons, Blake and Newton organising, three men in the wall. Abraham at the back post, and it's Blake. Just pulled it slightly with his left foot. Nathan Blake with possibly Cardiff's best effort of the game so far. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he's just pulled, he just rushed it a little bit. Plus, again, the occasion, slightly getting to him. Take it taken short. So. Dale, and away by Walker, Abraham, Newton, no real order to proceedings in the midfield at the moment, play on, Harrison, Ramsey, good run by Pike, Pike against Harris, and Freestone, not for the first time, very alertly out to the edge of his penalty area to deny the Cardiff City frontrunner, that time it was Chris Pike. Yeah, a lovely run by Chris Pike. Roger Freeson coming out with his balls. He polices his area with tremendously well. So last five minutes of the first half as the ball eludes Agbula. Dale. Searle. Well, Ramsey's not offside, and here's Chris Pike. Pike with a chance if he can turn. Here's Ramsey back to Pike, an opening here for Cardiff. They're taking ever so long, but Pike has scored. He took his time, and he scored the goal, which has given Cardiff City the lead, his 22nd of the season. Chris Pike helped out by Paul Ramsey, and at the start of that move, Cardiff City took advantage of the new offside law in the Albright Fitter Welsh Cup. Ramsey was not offside from the long ball forward, and eventually it fell to Chris Pike. He took an earth about it, but eventually he found the net. There's Ramsey, here's Pike. We thought the moment had gone here, but Pike was so cool in the end and scored with his right foot. Tremendous finish, he shows great composure. It looked at one stage as if the chance was going to be lost. A typical goal scorer. Takes his time. Beats a man and sticks it into the opposite corner. Tremendous goal. So we'll look at the goal from the other side of the field. As you can see, Damon Searle playing the ball long from inside his own half of the field. So Pike and Ramsey were onside. They combined very well here, although it does seem at this stage as though Swansea have got enough players back there to avert the danger. But Pike 
on his right foot very coolly gives Cardiff City the lead 1-0 so with the deep ball into the penalty area falls for Newton and Rayner an urgency now about Swansea in the final moments of the first half they've fallen behind Abraham Pike and here comes Dale he's just offside well Carl Dale there showing how quick he can be off the mark over short distances just mistimed the little dart forward yeah lovely through ball again smash and flick I'm not sure, to be honest, if it was Carl Daly. Leg with the throw. Away by Abraham. And that's the end of the first half. Swansea City perhaps have had the better of things in terms of territorial play, but the goal has gone to Cardiff City. It came just a couple of minutes from the end of the first half. Chris Pike it was who took an eternity but eventually finished very coolly indeed to give Cardiff City the advantage at half time at the bench field the score is Swansea City nil Cardiff City one so Swansea City holders of the all right bit of Welsh Cup with work to do in the second half if they're to maintain their grip on the trophy and I'm sure manager Frank Burrows will have told them to make better use of these very useful crosses they've whipped in in the game so far but Jimmy Gilligan and Mark Harris coming up from the back haven't been able to take advantage and they were caught out to the sucker punch the long ball downfield by Damon Searle and Chris Pike capitalizing to score that excellent goal sliced away by Walker so a throw for Cardiff City Nathan Blake with a throw in for Cardiff. Searle. Damon Searle. Still going forward. Trying to play it forward for Harrison. That was well read by Walker, but Newton gets in there. Searle finds Blake. Blake delivers a, a telling cross, and oh, Roger Freestone almost lost that. And Carl Dale was ready to pounce. A vicious cross curled in low by Nathan Blake. A bit too close to the goalkeeper. But Cardiff almost able to capitalize. Leg. A throw then to Swansea City as Harrison fails to clear. Andrew Leg taking advantage. Will this be one of his long ones? They scored from one of these on Saturday at Exeter. Instead, it's short. Coughlin to Leg again. It's a good cross. Gilligan. Rayner miss kicks, but it breaks for Gilligan again. Rayner, that should be Gavin Ward, oh he's dropped it and it's scrambled into the net, no it's hit the post and over the bar from Williams, Andrew Legg surely should have scored there as Ward unforgivably dropped the cross. Here we are again, up and under, it's a straightforward, straightforward catch for the keeper but he's either taking his hands off it, it's obviously slippery and it looks inevitable that Andrew Legg is just going to stick it in but Roger Gibbons to be fair to him does exceptionally well and also blocks the follow-up, I mean, it's tremendous defending. So the corner to be taken by Coughlin. For the far post, Harris. Williams, real pressure on the Cardiff goal. And this time, that will be a goal kick. Good tackle by Damon. It, again, he attacks the box. He's looked up. And ooh, just what a freestone has reacted again well. So Frank Burrows, the Swansea City manager, about to introduce a substitute. Jason Bowen is about to enter the arena. The young midfielder who likes to push forward. He replaces Paul Rayner. 
Harrison loses out to Ford. Gilligan could break for Williams rather fortuitously. Williams, that's nice, and this is leg. He has space, needs a good cross. That's not bad. Looking for Williams away by Newton. Could break for Coughlin, and that deflected away off Paul Ramsey for a corner. So a surge of power now from Swansea City. 20 minutes into the second half, Russell Coughlin with the corner. Harris attacks the ball, gets there, but misdirects the header. Thornber, Bowen the substitute, his first touch. Takes on Ramsey, Bowen goes to the byline, away off Ramsey for another corner. So, sustained pressure now from Swansea as they seek out this equaliser, trailing 1-0 at the moment. Harris with a header, it breaks in front of goal, it's away by Perry. Not for long, Perry again. Coughlin. Leg. Not quite the touch he wanted there, but still leg. Excellent work now by Leg. Williams. Thornber. Straight at Gavin Ward. Good positioning though by the goalkeeper. Light on his feet. Had that covered all the way. Good run again from Andrew Leg. Swansea uh, definitely up the pressure in the last couple of minutes. I and mean, they've obviously got to do something to get themselves back into the game. Nathan Blake with the throw for Cardiff. Chris Pike. Still Pike. Running at Harris. Good burst of speed from Pike and an excellent cross. Dale couldn't quite get in the header. Coughlin is there to cover. Well, that could have been the second goal snatched against the run of play by Cardiff and Chris Pike. Super play here by Chris Pike. Chris Pike, yeah, he shows great pace. I mean, he's a bit an exceptionally quick player again. Great cross in, and Carl Dale is very unlucky. Good play by Cardiff. Walker away, back by Newton, and Buhler with a dangerous back pass, that could be an own goal, oh, beautifully saved in the end by Roger Freestone, he can't have been expecting that. Almost a nightmare for Rubin, but <laughs> shows great agility, Roger, and yeah, does really well in the end. Harris is up there, beaten in the air eventually by Perry, this is Dale. So a free kick now to Swansea. John Williams was pushed, and a chance for Swansea, the cup holders, to sniff out this equaliser into the final 12 minutes. Thornber and Coughlin organising. Coughlin towards the far post. Harris is up there. But it misses everybody. Head straining for that vital touch. But nobody got there. so well but Cardiff return it and Harrison is offside Coughlin from deep Gilligan Thornburg lines up the shot tries to chip it above Gavin Ward but Ward in truth was right back on his goal line and just watch that one into the Cardiff City supporters behind that goal. Ball laid off by Jimmy. Uh, it's been a night of frustration for Swansea. They've had a lot to the play, but I mean, as with the finish in there, it hasn't been quite their night tonight. Pikes, nudge on. Dale. Newton. Searle available. 
on the left-hand side for Cardiff. Agbula is covering. Still Blake. And Agbula will win that surely. Blake does ever so well to free Searle. And this is Ramsey. Dale. And runs away off Walker. And Dale used his arm illegally. And that'll be a free kick to Swansea on the edge of their own penalty area. Into the final ten minutes, Cardiff supporters sensing perhaps their side could be through to the semi-finals. Bowen. Coughlin. Bowen. Bowen takes on Searle. Let's see what a cross... What sort of cross he delivers. Well, he wins the corner kick to Swansea. John Ford is up there. And it's towards the back post. And it just flicks away for another corner kick to Swansea. So they're pressing on the accelerator. The corner's taken short to Bowen. Ford. Still Ford. Looks for Gilligan and headed away by Blake. Thornber from 25 yards. Always rising. The crowd got excited, but it was always going to clear the crossbar by a good couple of yards. Steve Thornber again trying his luck from long range. Better effort this time from Steve Thornber. But uh, again, the ball is always rising. Uh, and again, shot from 30 yards, no real trouble to the goalkeeper. break free down the far side Carldale has the pace he's still going picks himself up play continues this is Griffith and Pike the seconds ebbing away Cardiff will want to keep the ball in the Swansea half we're in injury time at the end of the game there won't be too much of that as the throw is about to be taken by Perry Perry the referee not happy, and Swansea will be given possession here. Walker. Long. Bowen is in there. This could be drama in the final seconds as Bowen got the header in. He wasn't offside. Gavin Ward there caught in two minds, but Bowen could not direct the header. A long ball downfield from Walker and almost a dramatic finish in the final seconds of the game. Just a slightly better contact and I'm sure that the ball would have gone in. Coughlin, they're going backwards. The crowd disappointed. Coughlin away by Searle. Could fall here perhaps for Newton. Newton turns and does well. Coughlin. Jenkins. Jenkins against Blake. And Blake does his job ever so well still play continues and that is the end of the game the holders Swansea are out Cardiff City have won their sixth game on the trot and could it be the game which opens the gateway to European football Chris Pike scored a goal of outstanding quality to separate the two sides Swansea certainly had their opportunities notably when Roger Gibbons cleared miraculously off the line from John Williams after Andrew Legg had hit the post but third division Swansea City are out Cardiff City and manager Eddie May absolutely delighted and a final word from Alan Curtis yeah, I would say that Cardiff just about deserved the result. They defended well, and when they broke, they looked as if they could possibly have got one or two. Swansea probably dominated the game territorially, but uh, Cardiff, Cardiff did really well. Cardiff then, firm favourites for the Cup. They've won by one goal to nil.